Check this out, how you doing everybody? I'm Cut A Classic and today I kind of want to go over mixing hi-hats. I've been working on the same song that we've seen in the other tutorials called uh, Ski Mask by an artist named the Cage. But today I wanted to kind of show you a different technique to kind of add bounce to your hi-hats, adding some excitement to it as well. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna just go ahead and play a basic four bar loop of uh, what the track is doing. Okay, so you got it, it's pretty basic. I always start off the same, I always do some subtractive EQing. And basically I just kind of rolled off the low end just to get the hi-hats where we need it. Let's, let's see if I can solo this real quick and... Okay, so we got a basic hi-hat, 16 notes. Did some EQ in there, just rolled off the low end. Didn't really need to do anything else to it. It was pretty solid. Uh, added some saturation to it just to kind of give it just I kind of cranked it a little bit but I just kind of wanted to drive the hi-hat and where the excitement and the bounce come from on this hi-hat is I chose this plug-in the Briar Motion so what you got is the hi-hat it's actually panning but there's also some three-dimensional things going on to where it's actually, it kind of makes it feel like the hi-hat is going around in a circle. So not only, instead of, instead of the hi-hat just being straight up and down the middle as a mono sound, it's starting to add some stereo imaging to it. So this is what it sounds like without it. So now it just adds a little bit more bounce to it. It kind of, it feels like it's flowing a little bit more. Now, if you put that in the track, let's listen to it all together while the track is going. I'm gonna bypass it. It's pretty dull. There's no excitement going on. Engage it. So yeah. That's basically it, just a simple technique of how I thought I could bring some life to the hi-hat and add some bounce to it. It worked out pretty good in this song. Hopefully you can use it in your workflow and hopefully it gives you the same feeling it gave me. All right, so again, if you're looking for more mixing techniques and tricks, uh, go subscribe to the Casserole Studios YouTube page. As you can see, it's posted right here. And yeah, just let us know what you think. Uh, yeah, go subscribe.